Hey everyone, it's me, Hadisha, your man, your homie, Adisha, from Learn with Adisha. And welcome to the next Blender class in the series. Sorry that this took so much time. This is going to be a short one. I wanted to show you something here. Go into edit mode. Ah, screw this. This is boring. Let's make something. A fire hydrant, maybe a trash bag. A trash bag seems simple. Let's try making a trash bag. Let's delete the faces, but that doesn't delete everything. Press which key to delete? X. Or you can just click the delete key. Here. Now we have nothing. Why is this here? I thought this was a class, you might be asking. Yeah, well, this is a class. A class on how to make something. Now we're going to be making a low poly, guess what? Trash bag. But a trash bag is trash, Alicia. Come on, can we do something else? No, we're not going to do something else until you actually learn how to do this. This is basically the basics that I'm teaching you right here. And we're making it low poly. So how many sides do you want? Hmm, let me hear that. 12? 12 it is then. 12 sides. Now, since we want an actual trash bag, we're going to tap into edit mode and click F. To fill, of course. Now here's something special. When you want to make this smaller, just scale it down. Just do that, and it and it'll well compress itself. Watch, I'll show you. So I press extrude, and now scale to make it bigger. Extrude a bit more. Oops. We can go back to select everything. Now scale a bit less. Extrude even more. Scale less. This is, this is getting kind of big. We'll do something like this. We can scale a bit less right there. And now we can start shrinking. Oh wow, this looks like a pot. If you make any mistakes, don't be afraid to go back. Don't be afraid, okay? You can go back. Mistakes are A-OK -okay and they're fully accepted, okay? So don't be afraid to share your blender today. You can even make some money out too. If you're good at blender, consider doing that. As for me, I'm not that good. I'm even a trainee, actually. But I'm just teaching you guys the things I know, since I want you to blossom and grow like a, like a good person to it. I just want you guys to have a good future anyways. Anyways, we're nearly done. Just extrude a bit more. Size it. Extrude a small bit more. And make it small. Now we have, what do you think of this? Yeah, it seems to be polygonal, right? So let's try something like this. Okay. This 
scale a bit more. Now we're going to need to start shrinking it. But keep in mind, too much shrinking will make it look polygonal. It will make it look bad. But too little shrinking, and what you just saw before the happen, takes a lot of time to get this right. But you can do something like this. You can do something like this. Looks like a good track back, doesn't it? But that junction we just saw is way too big. So we can make it even smaller. It's true. Go back to select. Scale, make it big. It's true. Scale, make it bigger. It's true. Scale, make it smaller. Scale, make it smaller. And here we have our track bag. One thing to keep in mind, if you want to see if this is going to take a huge load on your computer or anything, go here. If there's a ton of blacks anywhere, like a huge concentration of them, trust me, you don't want that. Because if that happens, in some places like here, if you're in normal size and it looks like there's like, like a huge amount of blacks here, trust me, if there's still a huge amount of blacks, that means you're straining your computer a ton. Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and bye bye. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Thanks for staying with me until now. And I just wanted to mention that, guess what? My new gaming channel has arrived. Game with Alicia. It's still got eight subscribers, but I hope you like my content. Thanks. And anyways, bye. This is it all for today. Keep an eye out.